What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Back with a quick video. Now, Brandon Bam Bam Rios, he took to social media, and he sent out this tweet challenging Floyd Mayweather and trying to make his claim for a Mayweather fight in September. Here's what he put. At Floyd Mayweather, you don't have an opponent, and I don't have an opponent. I am ready for September 12th to make it happen. Hashtag Team Rios. Hashtag Team Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. So, I want to get my thoughts on this prospect of a fight, this potential fight, and um, this motion from Brandon Rios. Now, I'm not mad at Brandon Rios. I'm not mad at anyone who just joined the the statistics of people who have called Mayweather out, challenged Mayweather out, and there's a lot of people. I was actually going to make a separate video about it, but off the top of my head, Edis Lonnie Laura, Triple G, Canelo said he's open to a rematch, Pacquiao said he wants a rematch. Mayfield talked to him. He wants the Mayweather fight. Berto said he's down to fight. Um, so you got different levels of people. Some people more desperate than others, like Amir Khan, constantly talking for the fight. Uh, Kel Brook has mentioned wanting the fight. There's just a slew of names, and Brandon Rios is now another person that wants to fight Floyd Mayweather. Now, again, I'm not mad at Brandon Rios for trying to land the spot. This is supposedly Floyd's last fight. So who wouldn't want that opportunity, win, lose, or draw? You know it's a hell of a payday, probably your career best payday, if not one of the top two. And it's a lot of exposure, and it gives you the opportunity to try to become the first person to defeat him. Now, that being said, I don't really have an interest in the fight. I would much rather see, and, and this is a fight that doesn't have to happen either, but Kell Brook versus Brandon Rios, if we're talking about one of the two fights, I'd rather see Brook versus Rios. Reason being, Mayweather is been in the game 19 years he's established and stylistically he showed me time and time again if you have slow feet if you can't outthink him then it's hard to beat him you know what i mean i think to beat mayweather he's either gonna have to age overnight and just look totally shitty compared to what he has looked you know what i mean in, in recent memory or career wise or you're gonna have to be able to match wits with him and do a lot of things right uh, if you can match his speed, if you have power, if you have a good chin, if you're accurate yourself, you know what I mean? You're going to have to do those types of things in order to beat him. Power alone is not going to do it. And Brandon Rios, I like him as a fighter, but he's one dimensional in his attack. He comes straight at you. You know what he's coming to do. He's he's almost easy to read in comparison to like Edislandi Laura or something like that. You know what I mean? He's a hell of an inside fighter when he gets to the inside. But for me, I just, I've seen Floyd beat that style so many times. And a lot of people are ragging on the Berto fight. But hell, I would rather see Berto fight Mayweather than Brandon Rios. And the reason being, Berto, he's been at welterweight career-wise. Rios has kind of recently, in the last couple of years, moved up to welterweight. And he doesn't even really have any significant wins at welterweight. Lost to Pacquiao his first fight at welterweight. The Diego Chavez, he came back after a suspension. And he beat him via disqualification, but he was losing on all the scorecards. And then Mike Alvarado, who is not a welterweight and had been stopped by Ruslan Provotnikov and then beat up by Marquez, he fought him and he did his thing. I can't take anything away, but I have to have, I've seen that fight live and I have no choice but to think he was ill prepared based on Alvarado did nothing. It looked nothing like the first two fights. He didn't look like he even wanted to be there. It looked like he was cashing out or something. So maybe he had been through too many wars. So realistically, at least Berto's coming off of a Josito Lopez win. And I'm not like I'm I'm saying I'm not even like I'm an advocate for Berto. I don't I don't care. Mayweather can say, hey, I'm done. I'm not retiring. It doesn't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? If he wants a farewell fight, cool. If he wants to challenge himself, he's already done what he was supposed to do. He already beat and toppled Pacquiao, made it look fairly easy. And I mean He's on his last leg, of last chapter of his career, so I, I really don't care. So, I mean, he could fight Brandon Rios if he wants, but just me personally, I would rather see Berto, just because at least Berto can match him in speed. He does have heart. He showed you heart in the Soto Carras fight, the Guerrero fight, things like that. He has some power versus Brandon Rios. It just He's not really an athletic dude. He's doesn't have any significant wins at welterweight, and the biggest thing is he's slow. Like He's like a slower... And if Canelo, who's also a great inside fighter, if Canelo couldn't touch Mayweather, and that was only a couple of years ago, then I just feel like what what is Brandon Rios going to do more than what 
Canelo did. You know what I mean? Or if you look at Maidana, Maidana is unorthodox, kind of hard to read. And we've seen Mayweather beat Maidana twice. So I, I just don't really see what Brandon Reels is going to provide for Mayweather. Again, I'm not mad at him for trying to take that spot. Everybody wants that shot. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys want to see next from Mayweather. Do you want to say Mayweather versus Rios after he lost to Pacquiao in um, his run at welterweight? Drop me a comment. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.